Hello viewers, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the self-help writing task one, letter writing. Let's see what we have here. It's a kind of an informal letter wherein you're going to, you'd like to participate in a work-related seminar in another country because by and large, in self-help writing, I haven't seen any semi-formal letters. It's either a formal or informal letter, mostly. So you would be asked to write 150 to 200 words. You can write extra 10% of 200 words. That would be 220 words. And please do not exceed 220 words. Believe me, write up to 185 and stop, stop at that if you want to. You would like to participate in a work-related seminar in another country, ask for detailed information on the dates, ask about the accommodation, ask about the cost. So how will you start? Maybe you can start by saying, Dear John, just give a fictitious name because it's just a test where they are going to see your ability of writing skills, that's all. So you need to write a simple to a compound and complex sentence, maybe, if at all, you can. So I'm going to show you how to do the writing. Dear John, my name is Sandy and I am a software engineer and I work for a multi national organization as an IOT engineer, IOT developer, anything. I am, I am writing this letter to know the details about the seminar which is taking place in Toronto next month. Then what, we, what would you write? You would write that you need to know further details about the venue, about the place, about the uh, the maybe the uh, brochure and things like that, yeah? Okay, now, dear John, my name is Sandy and I am a software engineer, okay? So we can stop at that if you want to, okay, however, I work for a multinational organization as an IoT developer. So this, however, actually people, most of the people think it's only for the contradicting statement. It's also for the subordinating statement. Believe me, you can write this way. My name is Sandy and I'm a software engineer. However, I work for a multinational organization as an IoT developer. I'm writing this letter to let you know, okay, to letter to know the details about the seminar, which is taking place in Toronto next month. Sometimes I have to be really sure what I'm writing is correct. Otherwise, uh, of course, we are going to do the proofreading at the end. Now, what else? Ask about the accommodation. Ask about the detailed information on the dates. I know that this seminar is for a week but I do not know of the confirmed dates in which it is going to take place. Therefore, I request you to send me with the brochure 
comma and the venue details details as well since i am new to canada okay i know that this seminar is for a week but i do not know of the confirmed dates in which it is going to take place therefore i request you to send me with the brochure and the venue details as well since i am new to canada canada i also request uh, i also want you to arrange me with an accommodation or send me the details so that I can make the arrangement myself at the earliest. Okay. Earliest. Then what? So ask about the accommodation, ask the details, detailed information on the dates, ask about the cost. So last thing would be the cost. I, then what? Finally, I want you to, okay, cost. Um, if you can also send me with the cost of the course, then it would be easy for me to arrange it with arrange it and discuss it with my firm. I am looking forward to meeting you in person and I am looking forward to meeting you in person and so I can write in this way I am looking forward to meeting you in person and look forward to seeing you soon and look forward to hearing from you soon from you soon anyway we'll be doing the proofreading not an issue okay so this caps has to go okay Best regards, Sandy. That is my name. Never write X, Y, Z because the assessors will penalize you. So be careful. Let me see how many words I've written. Then we'll do quickly the proofreading, which is what I do. So it's 165 words. Is it okay to stop at that? We also have a survey question. So don't worry. You will get a very good score. CLB 9 or 10 is what always I target for. But then my writings have always um, gotten CLB 11 and my candidates are very happy about it. So don't worry about it. 
Dear John, my name is Sandy. I'm a software engineer and I'm a software engineer. However, I work for a multinational organization as an IoT developer. I am writing this letter to know the details about the seminar which is taking place in Toronto next month. I know that this seminar is for a week, but I do not know of the confirmed dates in which it is going to take place. Therefore, I request you to send me with the brochure and the venue details as well. Since I'm new to Canada, I also want you to arrange me with the accommodation or send me the details of the nearest hotel, of the nearest hotel located that's that should suffice i guess yeah nearest hotel okay since i'm new to canada i also want you to arrange me with an accommodation or send me the details of the nearest hotel okay so that I can make arrangements myself at the earliest. If you can also send me with the cost of the course, then it would be easy for me to arrange it and discuss it with my firm. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person and look forward to hearing from you soon. Best regards, Sandy. So once again, since I included a few other words, let's see how many words we have written. So it is 169 words. Since you also have a survey question and that would also fetch you another 50%. So let's see, like, um, but this should exceed easily CLB 9 or 10, maybe even 11. So uh, we'll have to just see, the, uh, you know, how much the assessors is going to give you if you write in this manner. Okay, viewers. So I'll be coming up with more such videos. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below. My name is Sridhar Santanam and I'm signing off. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Goodbye from me now.